The wide open plains of Africa are filled with plants. Each plant is very important in nature, being the main food of many animals. Plant eating animals are known as herbivores. Of course, the biggest herbivore is the African elephant. Elephants need to eat up to 300 kilograms of plants every day. Besides eating grasses, elephants are most often seen reaching out with their long trunks, breaking off whole branches. They eat every part of the plant, the bark, the stem and the leaves. The white rhino is a very specific herbivore, choosing to eat only shorter grass. Its huge, low-slung head and wide mouth allows it to bite off large clumps of grass without much effort. As it moves slowly forwards, the white rhino moves his mouth from side to side, trimming down any short grass he can find, chomping his way through the bush just like a lawnmower. Nature gave the giraffe a long neck and very long tongue to help it get to the juiciest leaves of these thorny acacia trees that other animals can't reach. Being much shorter than the giraffe, this Nyala antelope can only reach leaves that grow closer to the ground. By eating in one part of the tree then moving on to another, the animals leave the tree with enough leaves to survive. Zebra are grazers preferring longer grasses. They bite right through the stalk with their razor sharp teeth. Nature has equipped each herbivore with its own way of eating. They each eat different parts and types of plants to make sure that there's enough to go around for everyone. From the largest to the smallest, herbivores make up one of the biggest groups of animals. So it's very important to protect the plants to be able to save the animals that eat them. Africa is home to many very different types of birds. Some only live in Africa, whilst others fly thousands of miles just to breed here. They're different in many ways, each one following its own unique way of life in the African bush. The long-legged storks and cranes perch high up on the topmost branches of trees close to water. The size and shape of a bird can tell us many things about how they live. Long legs are perfect for wading through shallow water on the lookout for frogs or fish, and sharp beaks are perfect for catching them. These Franklins have adapted shorter legs for scratching on the ground in their search for food. The hornbill uses his beak for eating fruits and catching insects and spiders. Africa is home to the largest bird in the world, the ostrich. Being too heavy to fly, this bird makes up for it by being able to run at speeds of up to 60 kilometers an hour. The ground hornbill is about the size of a turkey. This bird does fly, but it prefers to wander about the bush in its search for frogs, lizards and insects. The flaps of skin, called wattles, on the sides of the face and throat are red in adults. In younger birds, these wattles are yellow and will slowly turn red as the bird grows. African animals are very useful to birds in search of food. As this impala feeds, it disturbs insects, and the drongo catches his meal. The ox picker gets its meal and helps the animal he sits on at the same time, picking off ticks and fleas, which the animals are only too glad to get rid of. The hummercorp has also learned to use animals in its hunt for food. This buffalo disturbs many small fish and frogs, and the hammerkorp waits patiently for his meal. On the African savanna, secretary birds even eat the eggs of ground nesting birds like plovers, despite the plover's cries to scare it off. Birds are masters of the African bush and of the African skies.